Welcome to this video. Proof Amerindians ancestors of all humans. Never evidence of the consensus hypotheses could be found. Cro-Magnons conquered Europe, but left Neanderthals alone, PMC, NIH.gov. Never since miners unearthed a skull and bones in a cave in Germany's Neander Valley in 1856, three years before the publication of On the Origin of Species, evidence of the consensus hypotheses of the time, which included moving out of Africa and out of Beringia, and which are still supported by consensus, could be found. The finding of the bones of Neanderthals in 1856 must have been an excitement for consensus and the scientists at the time. They could not imagine that one of the most important proof against the consensus hypotheses, out of Africa and out of Beringia, would come from the Neanderthal fossils they were so excited about and that much later roughly after the year 2000, would have their DNA analyzed. At the time of discovery and excitement it was easier to imagine us evolving from ape all the way to modern humans over the Neanderthal that was considered not as fit as we modern humans supposed we were, hence the Neanderthal would go extinct. At least that was, and is, what consensus thought at the time, but extreme paradigms and scientific evidence would scatter these thoughts. 1. Neanderthal Paradigm The first paradigms that arose were 1. Modern humans did not descend from the Neanderthal 2. Modern humans and Neanderthal would turn out to be sister groups 3. Modern humans in general, but Europeans in particular, carry, more, DNA that is similar to Neanderthal DNA so if Neanderthals were really brutish and not fit, Europeans would have been proven to be the most brutish and the most unfit. 4. In fact the paradigms are much more serious than 1, 2 and 3, because modern humans today do not carry one type of Neanderthal-like DNA, but in fact carry several types of Neanderthal-like DNA that are typical and unique for areas spread out all over the planet. Once again South America draws our attention because pre-Columbian and thousand-of-year-old Amerindian fossils have proven the presence of several Neanderthal-like groups that are genetically more complex than just three groups, hence are called Neanderthal-specific, Denisovan-specific, and shared archaic ancestry. I call this the mass generation of hybrids, that obviously started hundreds of thousands of years before out of Africa and even mitochondrial Eve and that I proved to go on until at least four to five thousand years ago, most probably at least until the late Bronze Age collapse and the Sea People, that illustrate quite well how these hybrids dispersed over the world all along, in fleets of advanced boats, riding the currents they were expert at. Please remember that 60% of what 8 billion humans eat today comes from crops as well as domesticated horses that are proven to be hybridized by Amerindians and in the Americas. I suggest we forget for now about this severe fourth paradigm and other severe paradigms I did not even mention here some are the subject of other videos. What I can tell now is that all these paradigms make the old, as well as the most recent consensus hypotheses, totally improbable, and turn the facts into an enormous list of enormous paradigms. 2. Eve Paradigm 3. Substantial List of Paradigms 1. Neanderthal, 2. Eve and 3. Listo of Paradigms Easy To Solve The enormous Neanderthal paradigm could have been solved long time ago because 1. Certain Amerindians, Pre-Columbian fossils, that were involved in the Austronesian expansion 60 to 70,000 or more years ago, together with other Amerindians, carry all types of Neanderthal-like DNA that all modern humans carry today, while Sub-Saharan Africans carry almost none and Eurasians only part of the Neanderthal-like DNA that all modern humans carry today. 2. Certain Amerindians as well as Amerindian Neanderthal-like specific carrying groups, Amerindians, carried the ancestral mitochondrial DNA, L, almost certainly 200,000 or more years ago, because Neanderthal are at least 430,000 years old, carried ancestral mtDNA and obviously Neanderthal DNA, and certainly before it is proven to have appeared in Africa, this most probably after the Austronesian expansion 60 to 70,000 or more years ago, because that is the earliest proven human expansion. That almost certainly also involves ancestral mtDNA and Neanderthal-like specific DNA and or haplotype B006. Pre-Columbian and thousands of year old Amerindian fossils carried the mitochondrial DNA by consensus and science verified proof for the ancestor of all humans. In other words in the case of the Americas there is evidence, fossil and DNA, the Amerindians are the potential, and eligible, ancestor of all humans because the ancestral mitochondrial DNA is isolated in fossils over the Americas. In the case of Africa this evidence is never found. No fossil was ever found that carried the ancestral mitochondrial DNA, 
also called mtDNAL and mitochondrial Eve or, wrongly called, African Eve. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye.